So the first of the four videos is the sketching part, and this is where we draft out the overall look of this mechanical dragon. So let's dive straight in. So this work project is going to be um, a whole design of a, um, I'm going to do a dragon um, that's kind of robotic. And this is going to show some of the workflow tips and tricks that I use along the way. I'll probably break it down into about three videos. So the first one's going to be setting up, doing the sketch. And then the second one will be um, the, the different types of tools that I'll use to build the main components. And then we'll probably go into some kind of a, a look at how we would get it out and, and render it in another program. So we're going to draw a dragon. So it's, it's obviously a, a big creature, so symmetrical. So first of all, we're going to need, let's have a look and make sure we've got mirror switched on. So that's our mirror plane. So we've gone to settings and switched that on. And then we're just going to sketch really for the first section on one layer. So I'm just quite happy just to use the ink. I'm not going to use these strokes in the final image. So these will all be hidden. So I could use ink or I could go into the stroke itself. Um, doesn't really matter for this exercise. I'll use um, more of a freehand one than a point based one where I can click and move. I'll just literally sketch and the colors irrelevant. Um, it's basically because we're going to hide the layer. It's, it's not going to matter. Um, let's just make sure all the strokes are clear on the scene. And then basically this is what I'm going to do. Just is just draw out the dragon. Um, and then I'm going to use that as the reference. So it's going to be very fast, very loose. And the idea will be to get the, the overall shape designed ready for the modeled parts. So I literally at first, I can just start thinking about how um, the, 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 the basic form would be the spine. Um, I'm going to make this one flying. I've actually done one very similar to this. And I did it in a walking pose and I, I didn't like it as much as a, as a flying pose. So I'm thinking about a spine that's coming along here and then up over the back and the wings are going to come out of the sides here. And then just down here and onto a very thin tail. Um, I've gone too fat there. So um, again, just get the stroke right. We can change that later if, if, if it's not working, but that's probably the kind of length of the tail that I'm after. And again, this is the stroke, it's not the actual model, so it's, it, I'm looking at it from the top to see if it's uh, wide enough. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be able to um, add the, the actual geometric, geometry pieces in there. Um, just gives me that good indication. If it's not right and I'm not liking it, then I can just hold with the red and then the blue button on the non-drawing hand and I can just edit the splines. Um, so if I feel that it's just not quite the right length, I can just move it. But because I'm just doing it as a, as a freeform sketch, I'm not going to do too much of that. If it doesn't look right, I'll just delete it and do that bit again. It's so fast to do it. Um, the head's going to be about here. Again, it's robotic, so I'm, I'm not looking for uh, an organic dragon. Um, there's going to be spinal parts are going to look like they're, you know, robotic. So it's going to be some kind of horn affair coming on here. As you can see that looks like dragon-like already. It's going to have great big shoulders. So I'm going to put a suggestion of what would be. These would be the um, scapula, the shoulder blades, and then I'm going to think about ribs that are going to come down like this. So that would be the rib cage, like this. so, coming into a pair of hips uh, around there. As you can see, it's a sleek dragon. It's, it's just straight out. The wings are going to come off from the front here, and we'll draw those in a minute, but I'm just indicating where they're going to be. You can see they're going to come off like so. And I want them sweeping from the back, actually. So it's, it's got that kind of how to train your dragon kind of fin at the back. And then maybe, actually, if we're going to do that, then we might want to do a tail of some kind. Um, actually, no, nope, don't like that. Maybe a vertical. Let's see what we think. Two verticals. This is where we can try it more in um, more like a fish tail. Don't know. We're going to leave that because I can't make a decision, so I'm not wasting time on it. 
And I've just looked at the wings and I'd actually like to design them up. So with passing the red sphere through and just angling them up, there we go, that makes me feel better straight away. Um, I think the spine would need to be a little bit higher now looking at that. Um, I just changed colour by mistake there, so I don't know how that happened, so I'll, I probably wasn't looking. But no problem, because we've got that colour set defined, and that really does matter later on. The, uh, the colour that we're going to choose is going to be how we select our materials in another programme. So that will matter, not so much for now. So let's think about the legs. So I want it flying. So if that was going to be, as we already said, that's going to be the shoulder blade, then we'd come down off here. This would be the humerus, so that's like your forearm. And it would bend here at the olecranon, which is basically where the ulna and radius come down. And then we'll come down and we'll think about putting some kind of a claw. So it's in flight, but it's so it's relaxed um it's not it's not standing on anything maybe thinking about that then if it is in flight maybe we'll drop the hands and the claws coming down like so see i'm only suggesting it so hips um let's put a nice femur and then this will be down to the calf muscle and then down to where the foot would be, and the foot will angle back like this. You can see. Now I am doing it symmetrically. It looks quite chunky at the moment, actually. I've just noticed from that angle. Um, so I can just grab that, make it a bit bigger. There you go. So the tail being bigger makes the body look smaller, and maybe the same at the front. So you can see I'm working out design issues or design. Um, it's basically, I'm working out the design as I go. It's not none of it is locked at this stage. Um, let's have a think about the wings. So let's just draw in where we think the bones will be. So if, obviously it's a fantasy six-legged creature, so it's not ideal for from a design point of view. So this would be coming off the shoulder blade here. We're going. This would be one bone, and then this this might be a flapper skin in the front. So if that would be the humerus, then we're going to need an ulna and a radius, put that up there. So if that's an ulna and a radius, that means these are the fingers. And in a bat or a fantasy dragon, you usually have finger joints, like these are the, the phalanges coming. This, this would be the hand here, essentially. So we'll just do some finger joints like so. And that means there's one finger, two fingers, three fingers, uh, We'll have that there, like there. Let's, how does that look? So it's not angled how I'd like it. So let's take that and angle it up more like this, maybe further forward. I'm just trying it in different ways just to see. That will be fine. I'm not going to pose it in Gravity Sketch. I'm going to leave that to another program. Let's make those back legs a bit bigger. Let's see what that looks like. So you can just tear it apart and it doesn't make any difference. And maybe these horns could be a bit bigger, like so. Maybe these can be a bit wider. I do love this in Gravity Sketch, that you're, you're only working with little strokes. And in a lot of 3D that I do, there's a lot going on and you're thinking much more deeply, whereas this is just very simple design. I'm just picking up shapes, moving them, and maybe bend those fingers around. These are going to have skin folds all the way through them. How does that look? Maybe just a little bit up like that. Or about from the top? Yeah, looks fine from the top now. There we go. So, that's how simple it is to just sketch out the design. Um, what would probably do at this point, if I'm happy with that as a, as a core shape, is go into settings, down to layers, and we'll call the first layer sketch dragon. So now we've got one layer there. We're going to lock that layer and I'm going to make it almost transparent and make a new layer. And that new layer will be just call it body for now. don't actually know what it's going to be. But I'm going to work on this next layer 
in the next video. So that's how quickly it is to sketch out your, your, your idea before we've ever really made anything. It's just to give me the shape. And from all angles, even though it's nice and transparent, it reads for me as a shape. So I'll take that now. I'll save it out. Go to here. And we're going to save this as, we'll call it Mech Dragon to be really boring. And there we go. So we've got the first section done already, which only takes a few minutes. Now what we'll do is we'll try and in the next video we'll start making some shapes so in the next video i think i might split it to more videos actually so let's say we just do the wings in the next video